Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. You know, you don't always have to use an insecticide out in the garden when you see a little problem. As a matter of fact, the best way to do it is to prevent the problems from coming along. And so, um, you know how it is to grow squash. It's so hard to grow squash because of the squash vine borer uh, or other insects that get on your tomatoes or maybe in your flower beds. Here's something new. This is a little mesh material right here. Look at this, it's a very fine mesh. The moisture gets through, the sun gets through, and um, the breeze gets through there too, but none of the insects get through there. When we planted our squash this year, we put it over a little frame in order to kind of keep it from uh, getting any of the squash vine borers in there. But you can wrap your tomato cage. You can do many things with this. I like it a whole lot. I think it's going to be a good replacement for any pesticides and even the natural ones. You don't always want to use a pesticide out there. One of the other things that occurs when insects are there, um, it's the plant health. A plant that um, is depleted, not in good health at all, growing in a poor soil, something of that nature, um, could be improved and more resistant to insect problems by proper feeding. Liquid fertilizers like these would be a good choice for you. Working some into the ground in advance is an important thing having a nice healthy soil and then feeding the plants. That's very, very important. Red spider are controlled easily by using the spray of seaweed under them. Spray under the leaves and you can prevent them. It's been a dry year, so you wanna make sure that uh, you do this because in a dry year, that's when the red spider mite becomes a big, big problem. There are beneficial insects out there too. The braconid wasp has laid its eggs on some of the caterpillars and they give very, very good control. But when you spray the garden, these things aren't out there, so you don't wanna spray. The green lacewing. This is the one you see around the porch. Beautiful little flyer. Well, it has its larva to do the eating for it. These are voracious eaters when they're young and they go through there and will clean up many of the aphid problems and you'll be able to see the little aphids are dried out. Another thing to do is to not use BT, Bacillus thuringiensis. It comes under many brand names in the garden. This is a way to upset the balance again. These Butterflies that come through there are just beautiful. But when you spray, for example, you're doing some of the caterpillars in the garden, don't go out and spray the other areas where there are flowers or the passion vine, any of these things, because the larva of the butterfly are there. They're feeding on these leaves. And as a result, you wipe out the butterflies in your garden. And they're such an important part of a garden. They're just a beautiful part of the garden. So make sure that you don't use the BT unless you have to. And you wouldn't use it in the open areas. You'd use it mainly in the vegetable garden. That's where I see the most important place of using it. So prevention, keeping the plants healthy, using a mesh device like this, stopping the use of the BT out there, and just overall having vigorous, well-adapted plants in the right season, and you shouldn't have any problems. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgoole. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.